Hi, welcome to The Virgus Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining me today. And thanks, Darren, from The Virgus State Bank. Uh, welcome. We're here at The Virgus State Bank with our, our Santa and then our tree, and we're all set for Christmas, aren't we? All of a sudden, it's first week of December. It and is the first week of we've December. We've got to prepare for Christmas. We do. It's a great time of the year. It is a great time of the year, and hopefully you're enjoying getting all the preparations ready. And, and, and I think what we need to talk about today maybe is a little bit about shopping locally. What, what, what do you think of when you hear that, Darren? You know, I've always been a fan of shopping locally. I guess there's so many reasons to shop locally. It's convenient. It's super convenient. You don't have to fight the traffic, fight the, traffic, fight the crowds, fight the icy roads. Um, you can come out and uh, just spend it, make a day of it. That's what's fun about it, and, and it doesn't get any better than here in the Burgess community. All of our stores, people think that, you know, we kind of at the end of the season, you know, the tourist season is a big season for Burgess. We think we roll everything up in our clothes, but that doesn't happen here. I know just the other weekend, if you've been in town, we all the Christmas trees went up around, and the beautification committee took all the planters, and they decorated them up. So when you do come to town, it's just a neat, unique experience. Well, it's so important to, to, to support our local stores. You know, you look at Ronnie Goodman's right across the street, you know, it's, they, they hire locally, mm -hmm. um, they pay your taxes locally. Um, you think about, you know, the hardware store and, you, and, the, and the up and down Main Street, the stores that... Um, there are staple stores. There's staple stores, and what would we do without them? Exactly. You and know? Um, Vergas is unique. It's been able to thrive mm -hmm. because of those stores and because of um, the, the, the shops that are in town and because they, they do stick their neck out and stay open all winter long on the weekends, and um, they want to be there for you. What I like about it is you're not, number one, you're not fighting the people, but these box stores and stuff that you go into, you can't find that unique item right. that you can here in town. Right. And and you, you talk about, you know, going out of town and, and shopping online and the fact is is that if you continue to do that, we're not gonna have mean streets mm -hmm. in these small towns. And not just Vergas, but all small towns. All small towns. Um, so yeah. you have to realize that uh, you know, these these stores are vital to the community. Um, like I said, they hire people locally, mm -hmm. um, they hire the high school kids in the summers and they pay property taxes to your school districts and, and, and to your cities. And it is very, very convenient uh, to... Go out online and Cyber Monday and... <laughs> exactly, but, but you have to realize that, uh, that we can't just use these, these uh, Main Street businesses um, at particular times of year. No, that's true. I know that there's a concept out there, and I, and, um, I hesitate to even bring it up because I'm not sure who even does it, but I love the whole idea of just getting the mindset of spending fifty dollars at at a yeah. bit, your local business each month. Yeah. You know, as opposed that to that in fifty that you businesses. always spend if you go to Fargo. You, you're always dropping a lot of money. And how important is that money if you spend it locally, right. as opposed to going to out of town? And that goes right with the online thing. There's not one nickel that comes back to a, a small community right. when you're out online and it just is out there and it's gone and, and right. um, it's not benefiting your community. Right. What's really nice is our community is also helping to promote that and we've got the holiday mm -hmm. bucks. Um, tell us a little bit about those. Well those are sponsored by the community club and it's 15 percent off um, your purchase of, of the holiday dollars. So you can come into the bank buy a hundred dollars worth of cash, holiday cash, uh, for eighty five dollars. So, and you can use it at any business in the city of Vergas. Yeah, you can, and, and they're good until the middle of January, and so that's what's nice about that, too, and you can actually give them for Christmas to somebody. And, um, and the thing that it is, is um, that um, they're only having $4,000 of that, right. so you should come in and get them. Right, and it's sponsored by the Vergas community. It's, it's funded by the community club. So that 15% is, is funded by the community club, which is really nice of them. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't cost the local businesses necessarily. So it just makes it, if you think about it, if you're using the holiday bucks and you go into um, any of the local stores, you automatically have 15% off of your purchase. Right. And that's that's a great great thing. There goes thing that, that the perceived community. savings that if you drive to Fargo, well, you're going to get it cheaper. Right. Um, you got 15% off right here. Plus, you don't pay don't three dollars a gallon to go down the highway. And you don't have the stress. Gas. And you and the don't stress. have the bad roads. And you yeah. You don't I think have as you people. get older, stress is a big thing. I think so. I like so. convenience. I like to just spend the day in a small town shopping. Mm -hmm. And you get to actually talk to the people that you yep. know and that you actually do business with and probably see at church and probably see, you know, yep. at a function in town and, and, and that's what's nice about it. So 
some of those thoughts, you know, we wanted to get across to you about shopping locally because um, I think um, hopefully all of you realize it's important and hopefully all of you get that mindset that you can get it um, get it into your routine. Along with, those, along with those Main Street businesses is the Vargas State Bank and, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're one of those Main Street businesses, small locally owned bank and uh, we do get? a lot of things too, you know, yeah. it, the, the calendars, you know, you, you just Stop <laughs> I don't know how long it's been, yeah. but we've we've been doing these for years and years and years. Stop by and pick up a free calendar. Yeah, we love to you know make sure that you get your um, free calendar when you're in. Um, we'll have the box set up um, for you to be able to sign up your children for mm -hmm. Twin Santa Bear. So yep. Santa's holding the box there, but it'll be out, and so make sure that you get a chance to do that. And um, the other thing is, is that on December 17th, if you don't want to get into the hassle of baking, boy, you got a good deal there too. On yep. December 17th, the uh, Vergas Dent Lunatics, who um, is the American Cancer Society Relay for Life team, will be having their bake sale. And they have it from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. And there is so many really good, good food. food. Well, and what's nice about it is they, there's some actual, you know, the Christmas cookies and the Christmas candies. And so you don't even have to turn your oven on if you don't want and to. And I believe it's a free will donation. It's a free will donation. Yep. And so uh, I know a lot of people just plan on that each year. So that's good, too. Mm -hmm. um, we got some special holiday hours too, Darren. Um, we want to yep. tell people about that. The Virgo State Bank will have the different hours of Christmas and New Year's. As it turns out, Christmas is on a Saturday. Christmas Day is on a Saturday mm -hmm. this year. So Christmas Eve, we will be closing the drive up and the walk up at and the lobby at two o'clock on Christmas Eve day, and then New Year's Eve day will close at two o'clock as well. So, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, plan that if you're planning on going out of town or if you need that holiday cash or if you want to come in and get your holiday cash uh, so you can do the last minute shopping that you need to. Two o'clock on, yep. on Friday. The so the last banking day of the year is January 31st and we'll close at two o'clock. Just keep that in mind. Okay. So, Darren, how long? December 31st. December 31st, 31st yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Way ahead of myself. Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve, yeah. <laughs> then we're, we're going to be closing it, too. So make sure you get your calendar. Make sure you stop in when you when you are in and, and get your holiday cash. What was it? How much percentage is it off? 15%? 15%, yeah. And, and that's good at any of the businesses in town. And uh, sign up your children for the Santa Bears. And I think we want to just really stress again, shop locally. Yep. Yeah. If you're gonna shop, if you're gonna do any shopping for Christmas at all, try to do whatever you. Very can unique locally. items in this town yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, it's great, and so you have a great selection. So, we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas from the Burgess State Bank, and we hope that your holiday is stress-free and enjoy it with family and friends. You have a good day in Burgess.